when I first started this movie, I'd like to make it known that I didn't know any sign language. Um, I didn't have any experience. I don't think I have even met a deaf person in my life. So there was a slight trepidation, trepidation initially. However, I would say that I didn't, you know, go about this project any differently than I would go about any other project. Um, once I started, it's the same kind of steps that you need to do anything. You need to know your character, you need to know the character's motivation, um, and working with any of the deaf actors, any of my co-actors on this was no different than working with anyone else and trying to figure out, um, make sure everyone's kind of on the same path, you know, everyone has their own character to develop, you're working off of one another, and um, yeah, I guess it's a bit naive for me to say that it all ended up being so easy and just I feel like we worked really well off of one another. Oh my god, I'm sorry, you can't hear me. And here I am just blabbing away. You're dead. Right. Cool. That's cool. Um, I'm Annie. Sorry. Um, my name is Annie. It was enlightening, it brought a new perspective, a new group. It's almost like I feel working in this wasn't a barrier as much as it was a gate that opened for me to explore a different world, to meet a new culture, to experience new things that I would have otherwise maybe have been shut off to. Um, I think it's very interesting. I think films like this are very important because I think deaf culture and hearing culture, as far as I'm aware, feel completely alienated. I think media obviously has a huge impact in American culture and you learn so much and if you can, you know, teach kids, you know, maybe everyone needs to be integrated with one another and there, we've found ways to facilitate certain people with, I guess, disabilities, I wouldn't call it a disability, but I feel like we're disabling ourselves by not projecting this in the media as well, by not 
showing people, by not integrating, by not saying we're both people, and you know, especially taking the topic of love and saying, all right, this is one thing that's a universal language. Let's bring it to both languages. Let's, you know, make people mix together. And there's no reason why we should feel so separate. There's no reason why, you know, there there shouldn't there should be more movies like this. There's Sorry. I okay. I'm, I'm sorry. This is your towel. Okay. Sorry. And um, I learned a lot from them, and I hope they learned something from me. But um, it it was really no different than working in any other film. I mean, a language barrier can mean a lot of things. It can be different personalities that you don't have necessary like chemistry work. It can be working with foreign actors, which is like a big thing that could happen in LA. Um, it could be working with gen different genders, people of all different ages. Um, this barrier, however, you know, is a bit more unique, considering that for a lot of the scenes, I was talking much as I am now to someone who, you know, couldn't hear me, and that is inherently different than anything that I've been used to. Um, so I guess communication is obviously key and it, uh, we, we got through it. It was, it was fun. I've never been, had a door open for me to integrate myself into it, and now it's wide open, and so I'm definitely interested in, you know, meeting more people and heightening my understanding. This is a game, right? You want to go. Okay. You, you, uh, yeah, okay. So you want to go flying. Fly? Take, yes. Oh, the food, the, the food didn't taste good? The food didn't taste good? No, you guys are cute together. It's just, sometimes he comes over to our place and just leaves all How about you? Yeah, how, what, what do you need? Good? Okay. Yeah, one last time, just... You really should. That? What is, what is that? You know, we shot over a period of two days. We had a lot of rehearsals. 
And in that time, I knew no sign language. And um, I, you know, it was just like learning a different language or something that you haven't been involved with ever in your life before. So it was interesting and I tried to learn as much as possible. Unfortunately, I don't know a lot, um, but I'm definitely interested in now being part of this and meeting the community and having everyone be so welcoming and warm and patient with me and waiting to allow me to try to understand them and vice versa, you know, it's a two-way street. And I, I, am, I love it. I love the expressiveness. I love the compassion that I was shown. I love the language of the American Sign Language, I think is fascinating to me. And I'm definitely, since I've become more well acquainted with it by doing this film, I would definitely go to pursue, to find ways, you know, they have one of the women on set showed me some websites where you can learn it yourself, where they show you video demonstrations, you know, everyone knows about YouTube. There are mediums out there where you can learn quickly and there should be no reason why you can't explore and learn. And I'm definitely more keen to do that. For everyone, I think, who has a bit of inclination or a bit of hesitation towards the film, um, I can see both sides of the spectrum. I know a few people have um, expressed slight concern with, you know, someone like me, I'm a big loud person and just talking at people. Or um, I guess it's important to know that the film is educational as well as it is a love story and I think the most important takeaway that I'd like to say for people for this film is to keep in mind that love is a universal language and that you can fall in love with anyone and I had absolutely no trouble filming with the two days with this amazing crew and cast to understand them and I hope they feel the same way about me and I don't see why language should ever be a barrier it's like an American falling in love with a French person, if you don't know the language, there is, you know, there's no reason why language should ever be a barrier with love. And I think that that's more of the takeaway. Uh, love, friendship, respect, kindness, everything. Um, no language or no barrier that you see should let you get in the way of just being a great person. <laughs> I feel a little frustrated. I don't understand. Like, I'm trying to get all the hands up, but I'm like really... You, you like me. That's what this was. Kind of. Okay. Um, I like you, too. Too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like driving a car. Uh -huh. Never mind. <laughs> I'm driving. I'm, you know, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't know what that is either. Single? Oh my god, you can talk? You can talk this whole time? Well, yeah, I can talk, but I really prefer not to.
I know that there, the deaf community has a lot of theatrics and theaters and plays and movies themselves, as well as a hearing culture. And I would like to see, hopefully this bridges um, the two together and there, you'll see more and more because I don't understand why not. Because it was no problem for us to do it. And it was a really great fun experience and educational. And um, yeah, I really think that there should be more in the media to promote this, so watch our movie. <laughs>